check that you have all of your patterns your front top bottom back sleeve pocket and facing for the front skirt you have the center front center and side and for the back you have the center back center and side fold the back tie into half and iron well so one short edge and one long edge with a one centimeter seam allowance using a loop turner or any other tool that you have turn the tie inside out and iron well Top stitch along one short edge and both long edges with 0.5 cm from the edge. Align and sew both back top panels together along the curved edge with a 1cm seam allowance. Grab a pair of scissors and trim into the seam allowances to reduce the tension. Flip open the panels and understitch on the inner panel. Make sure that you're sewing on the seam allowances below. On the front top upper panel, sew two rows of gathering stitch on the top and on the bottom. Gently pull the gathering stitch to reduce the width so that it matches the size of the bottom panel. Sew both panels together with a 1cm seam allowance. To sew the panels at the shoulder, Pull the gathering stitches to reduce the width of the front to match the back. Sew the outer layer of the back to the front with a 1cm seam allowance. Sew the skirt panels center front center and side together with a 1 cm seam allowance making sure to match up the notches repeat for the back skirt only for the back skirt sew along the center back with a 1 cm seam allowance align up the facing and sew along the curved edge with a 1cm seam allowance. Grab a pair of scissors and snip into the seam allowances to reduce the tension. Flip open the facing. Under stitch on the facing panel making sure to catch on the seam allowances below. Sew the back top to the back skirt by opening up the facing as well as the top panels. Sew them together with a 1cm seam allowance. You will find it easier to sew it in two separate parts. You start from the end to the centre and then separately from the centre to the other end. Sew only the outer front top to the skirt with a 1cm seam allowance. Remember to only attach the top layer to the skirt. Sew your zip to the centre front with a 1cm seam allowance. Flip down the front panel that has not been sewn yet. 
align them up sew the panels together along the center front all the way to the center back you may need to twist and turn the fabric make sure that the shoulder seams are aligned you may need to unravel the fabric to get to the center back Finally, here is my center back as indicated by the blue marking. Alternatively, you could start sewing from the center back, aligning up the shoulder, and then sew downwards along the center front. Flip open the inner front panel. Under stitch, making sure to catch onto the seam allowances below. Sew along the center front all the way up to the shoulder seam. Locate the notch, indicating the pocket placement on the skirt panels. Place the pocket and sew it down with a 1cm seam allowance. Only on the front panel, flip open the pocket and understitch, making sure to catch on the seam allowances below. Take the back tie and align it to the side seam at the waist panel. Baste them together with a 0.5cm seam allowance. Repeat for the other side. Sew the front and back panels along the side seam with a 1cm seam allowance. At the bottom of the zip, fold in the seam allowances and iron well. Top stitch on both sides of the zip all the way from the top to the bottom. So 0.5 cm from the edge of the fabric. At the bottom of the dress, fold up the hem by 1 cm and iron well. Then sew down 0.8 cm from the folded edge. Fold the sleeve into half and sew the side seams together with a 1cm seam allowance. Sew two rows of gathering stitch along the hem. Gently gather the hem, try the sleeve on and make sure that it's suitable for the size of your bicep. 
Cut a piece of elastic band suitable for the size of your bicep. Sew both ends of the elastic band together to form a circle. Align the elastic to the edge of the cloth and sew together with a zigzag stitch. Then flip up the elastic, fold the hem inwards by 1cm and top stitch with a 0.8cm seam allowance. Sew two rows of gathering stitch along the sleeve crown. Sew from notch to notch. Attach the sleeve to the armhole with a 1cm seam allowance, focusing most of the excess fabric along the shoulder seam. Then overlock. And there you have it, your dress is completed.